I was diagnosed in uh, 2011 at the age of 45. Fear, anger were the emotions I experienced. Well, my oncologist came into the hospital room and sat next to me and she said, you have metastatic breast cancer. And I said, okay. And I thought that meant I get to leave the hospital. There's my diagnosis. And she said, it's not curable. And I just remember just a sudden sadness and, and tears and a lot of fear. So many things go through your head and what the rest of your life is going to be like or how much of it you have left. And your kids and your husband and your, everything goes through your head. When you lose someone to breast cancer, and I lost my mother 25 years ago, you never forget it. I've never stopped missing her. I've never forgotten why I do what I do. Her picture's on my desk, and I never forget. My mom was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was around 62 years old. It seems very unfair, you know, if you've spent your life trying to come up with ways to treat this disease, you now know that someone that you love has got a disease that potentially, and in her case, it was fatal. I remember being in the school library with my daughter and the librarian turning to me and I just shaved my head and saying to me, you look great, you're doing great. And she reaches up and she pulls aside her blouse to show me the scar. Um, because she was now a, but she was now a 15 year survivor. I just pray, I just hope that there's research being done that will be my next treatment or my next option or the miracle. It's personal for many of us at BCRF. There are many of us that have a, a personal story to tell about breast cancer. More than ever, we need better ways to, to treat this disease. And in the case of the research that I do, ways to find the disease as early as possible. The real reason that BCRF is making the difference is because it's the only breast cancer nonprofit that's totally dedicated to raising funds for research. The first time I learned about BCRF and I, and I realized that so much of their money goes to research that could help metastatic breast cancer, it just made me be so grateful and want to be so involved. It's really important for scientists to know that they have a source of funding that's going to keep them going so they can stick with a project that might be a bit risky, but has a big payoff at the end. If my kids don't have to go through this or someone else's kids don't have to go through this, that would be amazing. It's my hope that someday when my daughter grows up, she won't have to face the decisions that so many women have to make when they are given a breast cancer diagnosis. Maybe she won't even, maybe they won't even be breast cancer. Thank you.